So uh, we're doing a hydraulic soft practice right now, and we're coming in here. We're gonna do a nice shallow approach. And just to explain for everybody on the uh, camera here what's going on. So the, uh, the hydraulics is what keeps the controls smooth. And so right now the, the hydraulics are off. And so I don't know if you guys have ever driven back in the olden days, driving a, a big vehicle without power steering. That's kind of what like the, this is like flying a helicopter uh, without the power steering essentially. So it's really stiff to move all the controls. And so when he's coming in for landing now, um, he's having to work really, really hard on the controls. You can't see it because, you know, Ruben's so strong. <laughs> you can't tell that he's working really hard, but he's really having to muscle these controls and try and keep the helicopter stable. And that's the tricky part when your reaction time is a little bit slower than normal. Let's go a little further. We have a little slope here. Let's go to the top of that slope. Just keep it nice and low, nice and steady here. Uh, when your reaction time is a little slow because you're having to work so hard to move these controls, it's hard to keep the helicopter stabilized. So again, try and remember no left and right on the controls. Just go fore and aft. Nice and smooth. Yeah, a little bit. There you go. There you go. And smoothly put her down. Lower the collective. All right. That's a, that's a good workout, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Nice. <laughs> that was very good. All right. Back on? Yep, back on again. Oh, man. Very nice. <laughs> so uh, tough, man. This is good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do a no hover takeoff. No hover takeoff. Yeah. So remember, we have to do all our checks around first. It's all clear. Nobody coming behind us. Just a vertical? Yeah. Vertical takeoff. Yeah. Hydraulics back on. Yes. <laughs> that would be good. Okay. Smooth. Ah, uh, your governor's off right now. Ah. Uh, there. there you go. I didn't do light checks. Yeah, see? That's the one time you I, don't do it, exactly, that's when it happens. That's exactly when it happens. I was doing the light huh. checks and I saw the governor light on. Ah. <laughs> I going to miss this. Yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah, it's a good lesson. That's why good we lesson. do them. Yep. Yep. Good, nice snow hover takeoff. So we do those if it's a dusty area or it's like soft powdery snow or something like that. We want to avoid that. Um, good, let's uh, come in for a landing over here. I'm gonna shut your governor off now. So start working uh, gently on your throttle, keeping an eye on the RPM because it's not gonna do it for you now. Oh, we never done this it, one. You wanna keep it up in the green there, so a little bit more RPM. Roll on a little bit, yeah, not too much. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be a little long for this, so let's just keep that turn going. We'll go back into that field that we uh, came from. So you're going to keep an eye on that RPM there. We're getting a little bit low on the RPM, and we're still steep on the approach. we got to get that. Where are you going to go? That way there? Anywhere you okay. want. You pick a spot. Too much power? Too much throttle, right? A little bit too much for throttle now. Yeah, it should be uh, the power. No, the throttle's good. And it should be just a standard approach. We don't want to come in too fast. It should be nice and shallow. Take your time. Because if you have to flare too much and pull in too much power too quickly, that's when the RPM wants to droop a little bit. So, good. Keeping an eye on it there. So, shutting the governor off uh, means that Ruben has to actually work the throttle on his own now. And that's, that's normal for us in the Schweitzer. But uh, anything, any helicopter that has a governor, which most helicopters do, um, you have to, if the governor fails, you have to actually be able to control that RPM. So that's what he's doing right now. All right, good. Governor back on. Go back up to 100%. So you were trying to give yourself a governor failure last time before we even took off. <laughs> Turn the governor off before we even took off. All right. Okay. Good. No lights now. Yeah. I don't see any. No lights on. All the lights are really nice. They are nice. <laughs> yeah. All off. Pressure green. Temperature yeah. is green and engine is green. Excellent. Let's go for lift off. What type of look around? Departure. Yeah. Um, what type of departure do we want to do? Let's do a standard departure. Yeah. Um, we'll take off that direction. So we'll yeah. do a pedal turn to the left. Good, we'll start that left pedal turn. Uh-oh, do you have any problems right now? Yeah, so we increase the 
It's left. Okay, so we just have a wait. jam pedal. Yep. So wait. put your feet on the floor. Wait. Yeah, let's turn the wait. governor off. Governor off? Governor off, yep. Because we are going to have to roll down a little bit of throttle. So let's roll off a little throttle. Don't panic. It's going to speed up for a second. Just hold on there. That's going to be fine. Now it's going to slow down. And it's eventually going to stop. Now keep yourself at the top of the hill. We've got a bit of a slope over there. I can move? Yeah, a little bit if you have to. Yep. Right here is good. This area is nice. Still okay. spinning. Still spinning. So let's roll a little bit more throttle off. There you go. So the horn's going to come on. That's natural, right? RPMs are getting low. Again, we're on that little bit of a slope. <sighs> we'll try and go over here way. a little bit. It's going to stop spinning any time here now. No, we're going to have to go a little bit more. There you go. That's good. Now that's going to do it. You can see it's slowing down. Wait for it to stop. And... Yeah, we're still rotating a little bit. You can be a little more patient on it. Don't be too eager. A little bit of a slope here as well, but that's fine. Good, Governor can go back on. We got that on. Good. No lights. And we can go RPM Pressure, on again. Temperature and engine is green. There you go. Perfect. So yeah, a little bit of a jam. So when it's left, we we put the throttle and wait. Yeah, exactly. When Always it's right. Yep. That's when we need to be moderately rolling off the throttle. Yeah. When it's right? When it's right, yeah. We did left now. Yep. So left, we did all uh, cut the throttle off. Both is throttle off. It's just when it's a left jam, it's, it's only throttle increase. a little bit at a time, right? Ah. When it's a right jam, it's throttle moderately off and we have to keep rolling off. Rolling off the throttle gets rid of that torque. So left, right? it's uh, slow. A little bit at a time. Right, a little bit faster. That's right. On the left, we're getting rid of the tail rotor authority, just a little bit at a time, right? On the right, we're getting rid of the torque. By rolling off that throttle moderately, we're getting rid of the torque, right? So let's pick up here. Okay, and let's put it to the top of the hill here. That's looking better. Now let's do a right-hand pedal turn. Okay, so we have any problems? Okay, so we have stuck, so we're gonna okay. cut the yeah, throttle. Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. There you go. Don't be afraid to cushion that landing as well, right? We had a little bit of a hard landing, not mad. Okay. But um, use up that collective. You have as much collective as you want there. You have uh, plenty to use up. So while you're rolling that throttle off, cushion that landing, make it nice and soft. Should be like just like a regular landing. That was good. Nice job on the uh, the roll of the throttle. Okay. So. Now you have to keep rolling it. If you stop rolling, torque's going to take back over and you're going to spin even faster. Right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and pick it up again. No lights. Pressure, temperature, and engine. All green. Good. Okay. So you can put your feet on the floor. Okay. There's your right jam. Good, raising that collective. <laughs> it was okay. Uh, yeah, you weren't uh, quite right on the timing with the collective. Uh, when you hit the ground, there you go. Uh, when you hit the ground, you were still kind of tugging, and then you kind of bounced off the ground, came back up again. We can make it better. It's a little slow, that's not the slope. A little illusion, but okay. Yeah, there's a tiny bit of slope here, but I'll bring that back up. You can have his feet again. That was good. Okay, feet off the pedals, and here's your right jam. Okay. Rolling, 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 raise that collective, don't let it drift. There you go. Alright, okay. good. Yeah, we had a slight drift going on with the cyclic there, we could have fixed that. Um, by the time we touched the ground, we hardly had anything left, but overall pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Alright, I think we're good for those. <coughs> Let's go ahead and do a uh, regular takeoff. Let's head out to the north, climb okay. up to a thousand feet. Lights off. Pressure, oil, and engine all green.
Kelly Street to the right. No traffic behind. Looks good. Helicopter R44, Fox Alpha Yankee, Quebec. Uh, work on the Simas area traffic, uh, Simas area practice area, and uh, just out of uh, Arnold, uh, heading uh, north and climbing to 1,000 feet. I mixed up there. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I can come a little more to the left so we don't fly over those houses. There we go. And yeah, kind of off in that direction would be awesome. Wow, this weather's really holding for us. I like this. Oh, that's good. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. See the uh, the melting in the snow there? Uh huh. You know what that is? Some type of uh, tractor? Or? No, pipeline actually. Underground ah, underground pipeline. It's heated, eh? And it's warm. It's not heated, but it's warmer than the uh -huh. earth around it. It's enough so it's to actually melting that snow. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Huh. Yep. Two pipes. Yep. Engine failure. Okay. Down, 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 down. We got to get that RPM off. There you go. All right. Pick a spot. Whoops. Keep that throttle off. Okay. There you go. Okay. I'm going. Raise a little bit of collective so that the rotor doesn't overspeed and just hold that throttle off. There you go. Uh, so this is a berry field. Why don't we go over here yeah. where there's no berries? There you go. There you go. Got your speed right, hold your throttle off, there you go. Keep it off, keep it off. Okay, off. Alright, okay. now One, go for a flare, two, three, flare, 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 throttle on. There you go, now come out of the flare. Level, 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 all the way level. Alright, been a little while since we've done one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was expecting it, but not so quick. Yeah, not so much. Not yeah. so quick. <laughs> huh. So, a couple things. Yeah, um, it was not quick you know, on the collective. In, yeah, you got to be way quicker on the collective. Yeah. If that was a real one, we would have lost so much RPM. The RPM got to the very bottom of the green there, but it, I was sort of helping you push it down a little bit. So, we got to make sure we get that collective. As soon as I say engine failure, you feel that yaw, bam, it's got to go all the way down. you got to feel it all the way to the stop at the bottom. Um, now, if it's a real engine failure, you don't have to worry about the engine RPM at all. But because it's a practice one, we have to keep that throttle off. The governor is constantly trying to bring it back up. So we've got to keep that throttle off. So just hold that off. Monitor your rotor RPM. So up and down a little bit on the collective, whatever you need to keep in the middle of the green. Target your spot. Now remember, we have a little bit of altitude. We have a little bit of time. Look around. Pick the best spot. Don't just pick an open spot. Pick uh -huh. the best spot. Uh -huh. This field here, really good. this is fantastic, really nice. yeah, right? Yeah. We would have landed, no problem. Everything would have been good. If we would have landed in that field, yeah. let's turn over there for a second. That's a raspberry field, and look at all the posts and wires and all that stuff over there, right? That's what we were heading for over there before. So we would have ended up in that, and we would have crashed for sure. We would have lived, it would have been alright, but we would have smacked into all yeah. those poles and maybe even rolled over because we would have hooked something or whatever, right? Whereas here it would have been just perfect. So, um, so sometimes just a little bit of looking around, um, look for the best spot. If you don't have any great spots, you just go for whatever looks decent, right? Um, if that's the best you got, well, that's better than trees, at least, right? Uh, but if you have a, an option for something a little smoother, a little bit flatter, go for that. Awesome. Let's get out of here. Airplane up there. Maybe we'll hey, do guys. How's it going? I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, we were doing a few different emergency exercises, as you saw there. And uh, so that was always fun. Ruben's starting to get ready for flight tests now. He is just rounding 90 hours. Um, I think tomorrow he'll uh, cross over the 90-hour mark. And then he only has 10 hours left, so we're kind of on that final home stretch now, the last 10 hours, um, kind of finalizing, prepping everything for flight tests, so it's pretty exciting. Um, something that's pretty cool here I want to show you guys, um, we are tracking the the ship, um, our container with the helicopter, the cavalry, is um, on a ship called the MSC Letiza, and um, so we're able to track that, live track it, and so we see it, uh, you can see the boat right there. And um, and this is the information on it, and it's uh, currently it's cruising at 1.8 knots, so it looks like they've slowed down probably for the evening or something like that, and uh, underway using engine it says, so that's pretty cool. This is what the ship looks like, and um, if I'll move this over here so we can see where this is at. Um, so that's Panama. So it went through Panama through the Pan Panama Canal on the weekend. 
And uh, so now it's through on the other side, and its track is headed up to Mozilla by the sounds of it. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it's in uh, in Mexico. That's its next stop. <clears throat> and so if I zoom out here, it's pretty cool to see actually. Um, I think it's forecast to be in uh, Mozilla, Mozilla, I think, I hope I'm saying that right, um, on Friday, on March 3rd. So that's pretty cool. But it's uh, it's somewhere right in that cluster right there. But um, this is a, I, just a couple days ago, our student was showing us this, um, actually maybe a week ago or so, for the first time. And I just couldn't believe how many boats, if you guys have a look, there's the Panama Canal. And that's currently live tracking how many boats are going through the Panama Canal. So it's pretty crazy. Um, I'll close that up and zoom out a little further here for you guys. And <laughs> have a look at that. Isn't that just absolutely insane? Um, so here's, here's Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, going up to Mexico. And you can see how many boats are there. Um, there's Mexico. And it's heading up. Kind of up in this area, I think, somewhere um, is where it's going to be heading for next. And then from there on, it's making its last stretch. I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming, I don't know the exact routing, so I'm assuming there is a stopover somewhere in the U.S. And then a uh, final stretch home to us here in Canada. So uh, we're really excited about that. Um, looking forward to the container coming. Um, I've got an idea that we're, as we track it, because I can, I can live track it. I know what it's doing pretty much minute by minute. So as it comes into the port in Vancouver, I'm thinking maybe if I can time it properly, I'm going to hop in the helicopter and see if I can fly out there and see if we can kind of meet the ship out in the water a little bit and film that so I can show you guys uh, the boat that it, that's coming on and uh, as it comes into port and stuff. We'll see. I'm not sure 100% if that'll happen or not, but it'd be really awesome if it did. So. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video again. Uh, this was just a little bonus video. I don't usually post videos on Wednesday, but um, I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up as always. Uh, comment, leave me uh, your guys' comments. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And my next video is going to be coming out on Thursday. So we'll talk to you guys then.